well tonight uh, we actually have some clear skies for a change we did have a little bit last night and a short window um, about three nights ago so I've finally been able to get back out into the observatory to do some imaging and uh, I'm actually going to do the prawn nebula which I was imaging when I was doing the comparison with the chroma not chroma huh I wish I had some chroma filters with the um, <clears throat> Antlia and the Oblong filters, the three nanometer ones. And so tonight I'm just going to carry on imaging with the uh, Oblong three nanometer filters and uh, see how we get on. I did collect some uh, images on about this is about three nights ago, but um, unfortunately the uh, camera didn't cool down. I thought it was cooling and it didn't. It seemed to get stuck and come to the end of the night. I should have checked, my fault. I should have checked, but I didn't. And come to the end of the night, I went to warm up the camera and sure enough, it was still warm at 17 degrees. So those, I've looked at them, look pretty noisy. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can salvage them. I'm not really sure exactly how. I'm gonna do a little experiment. I've taken some warm darks, um, so I've taken the darks at the similar temperature uh, to about 17 degrees and um, see if I can uh, rescue them to add to the other ones. If not, I'll just dump them, that's okay. And tonight uh, we've got no moon, so I'm going to hope and try and get a lot more O3 because I've mostly got HA and S2 at the moment. And it, the O3 signal is not very strong, but uh, it still adds quite nicely to the image, um, I think, when it's finally done. So fingers crossed it stays clear for at least a bit. Uh, as I said, don't know how long, it's only supposed to be about two or three hours, but you know, it could go longer, it could go shorter. Let's see how we get on. Okay, so we're off and running. I've actually got set up in the observatory now with a camera and a microphone. So I can um, record from in here, which will be good if later on I decide to do some live um, live streams, maybe of the uh, eclipse that's coming up in November, if the clouds are clear. Uh, and maybe, um, yeah, maybe do some planetary stuff with a 10 inch later on. But for the moment, I'm just gonna finish off this uh, prawn nebula. So you can see the oxygen, as I said, not a lot of signal here. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of detail in here and it does add to the final image, I think. So I'm just going to run through and um, capture these. I have checked over here that the camera is close to minus, minus 10, so I don't get caught out like last time. And uh, the guiding seems to be going pretty well at 0.35, so that's really good. Um, let's have a look here. Yep. 0.35 I cannot complain about that so I'll just keep um, keep imaging I better just watch this HFR because it's rising up a little bit but not too much I think so uh, yeah we'll see see how we get on and hope please stay clear because uh, the weather's been so bad recently that uh, I sort of wasn't even expecting tonight but you've got to make the most of it So just a quick update, um, we've gone past Meridian Flip and uh, it's about, what time was it, 20 past 11 at night. Uh, we've got some high cloud coming through at the moment which is a bit disappointing, um, but I think, I think that's just passed through for the minute so we might get a bit more time on the target. Um, just gone through the O3 and the S2 and we're going to do another round on the HA for as long as I can. So I just hope this high cloud disappears. It's supposed to be a big meteor shower going on over in the northeast, uh, which I haven't seen anything of yet, but um, I might have a look after midnight because that's when it's supposed to sort of be the most impressive, I think, between midnight and, uh, and the morning. So anyway, fingers crossed uh, I can get a few more hours yet.
Right, so we're going to be expecting the first of the HA runs through tonight um, in about three seconds. And oh, there it is. Okay, well, that looks quite good. I don't think the cloud is affecting it too much, but it's hard to tell. Um, guiding has gone off a little bit, and that might be we're at 0.5. I mean, I've been down at sort of point. 3.38 um, so that high cloud might be affecting things a little bit uh, making things not quite as good but uh, I see the well the star numbers have dropped I think that's because the HA filter which isn't quite picking up as many stars like the O3 and the S2 filter do so um, I've got another, I've got 20 set for this. I think I can probably go to about 1.30 on this before it hits the um, back wall of the observatory. And not, not the telescope, the the field of view as it uh, as the object drops down. So um, we might might get away with going to about 1.30. That would be good. That would give me a few hours um, extra on this target. So we'll keep going. Hope the guiding settles down a bit. Hope that high cloud stays away. And yeah, this is looking, this is looking good. Uh, is that little alien guy that I showed before when I was doing the comparison with the Antlia filters? So yeah, all that fine detail is still there. So I'm hoping those high clouds aren't doing too much. So we should carry on. It's about two o'clock in the morning and um, I don't know if you can hear in the background but I'm getting the dreaded ping 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 from uh, PhD2 telling me that I've got some high cloud coming through. Anyway the telescope's about to hit the, um, the top of the observatory there so I think it's uh, time to pack up for the night and um, get some sleep. It's been pretty good. Uh, it's stayed a lot, lot clearer than I was expecting. Um, it was only supposed to be clear till about 10 or 11 and here we are at 2 o'clock in the morning so um, yeah I'm happy. So time to close up the observatory and uh, get this camera warmed up and uh, get some sleep. Well, it was um, good to finally get an image completed and uh, get a chance to have a look at how these uh, three nanometer Obdelong filters perform. Um, it's only 11 hours of integration, but you know, given the weather we've been having, I figured I'd, I'd better stop and, and see what I could get out of this data. Um, because if I continued, you know, it might be another month before I actually finished it. So uh, it would be nice to sort of move on to another target now, I think. Um, for any of you that haven't seen the previous video I did where I compared the 3 nanometer Optolongs with the 3 nanometer um, Antlia filters, um, I'll put a link up here. And uh, otherwise, um, I'll see you in the next video and clear skies.